Hello everyone, welcome to VBA programming course, lesson 8, and you are watching Excel 10 tutorial. In this lesson, we'll talk about Visual Basic Editor or VBE. Okay, you can access Visual Basic Editor by pressing keyboard shortcut Alt plus F11 or you can close it here click on developer tab and click on visual basic you will find this window and we will talk about the four section of visual basic editor the first one is project explorer and the second one is properties explorer and the third one is immediate window and the final one is our code window okay so in the project explorer you will find everything that is currently active in this excel workbook okay now you can find this workbook option here and you can find all the sheets available in this workbook here and you can find all the modules in this section and the property explorer is kind of configuration place for your settings okay you can change the modules configuration here or you can change the workbook configuration here now remember everything has different configuration and if you click one of them you can change the configuration section here in this properties explorer now suppose you don't have access to this explorer like this you can find this by clicking view and click on properties window or you can click on the keyboard shortcut which is f4 okay and if you don't have the project explorer here you can access that by clicking view and click on project explorer or you can use the keyboard shortcut ctrl r and if you don't have the immediate window you can find it also in this menu click on view click on immediate window or ctrl plus g now in the project explorer you will have this like a nested system like windows explorer you can access to everything in the tree formation you just use it according to your needs in the sheet tab if you double click here in the code window you don't have any codes for this sheet if you have different codes for different sheets you can access it from here and this workbook every code in this workbook or every code that is meant for this workbook will be in this option in this code window and if you have any modules if you double click there and in the code window you will find all the codes that is connected to that module okay now in a code window you can find different modules and all of them are separated by this line and we will talk about this later and if you see here you have a drop down menu and from there you can access to those different procedure from right here remember every module support 64,000 character and you can have as many procedure within any modules okay now in the properties pane like i have already said you can configure what the properties of your workbook or worksheet or modules in this option right now if i click module 2 and you can see we have only one option here name you can rename that module let's name it delete right remember to use chemicals every time so you can see we just rename the module okay so whenever you have code in that modules you will find different attribute or different configuration settings and you can configure your module from this window now in the immediate window you can calculate your procedure or you can you can test your procedure or you can test your system simple snippets of code remember this is not for a longer procedure or you cannot write a whole procedure in immediate window and test it but you can simply test one or two line of your code before you can package it with any other modules or procedure so what this window can do let me show you if i write 10 minus 9 and press enter you can see it just showed one so you can calculate this type of equation here or you can see if there is any value in a specific cell or you can see if your calculation is right you can simply test it here okay this is immediate window and we are going to talk about this in great detail in later on and now there are a few menu here you can check this just to get used to it and we'll talk about it in this course but later on so whenever you get time you should get used to this application remember you always have to open Microsoft Excel if you want to open visual basic editor or VBE VBE is dependent on Microsoft Excel, but Microsoft Excel is not dependent on VBE. So whenever your work is done, you can click here, close, and you will get back to Excel window. And there is a keyboard shortcut, which is Alt plus Q. You can also close VBE with that keyboard shortcut. Okay. 
Now try to get used to this visual. You will have to work a lot on this program and this is not as attractive as Microsoft Excel because it has created for programmers like you. So you don't need attractive visualization to work with. So get used to it. But still it's really easy and really fast to navigate. Okay. One more thing. From now on you will find VBA course tutorial on every Saturday and Sunday. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. That's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.